So what I thought I'd do in this video as a follow-up to the release of my digital waveform user oscillator is I thought I'd give just a few patching examples. Uh, if you've got a Prolog or an NTS one, you won't be able to use my presets that I provided. Um, and if you've never played and programmed a DW8000 before, uh, you might find it a bit daunting. So here are just a, a few examples of different sounds that you can make with those waveforms. Uh, you'll find that they're really quite easy to work with. So the first thing I'm going to try is some organ sounds. They're very, very simple. Um, we'll create a kind of a church kind of organ. Um, so I'm going to put up on the screen the parameters. Uh, and the basic parameters for the user oscillator is going to be the shape amount. And then it's going to be these parameters in here, these six parameters. So seven parameters in total. And once you've got those seven parameters sorted out, which is choosing waveforms and octaves and detunes, intervals, and the blend, once you've got that sorted out, then the rest of it, the rest of the patch creation is just about applying a filter and applying an amplitude envelope and a filter envelope and some effects. Uh, it really is, uh, once you've got those parameters sorted, really gonna be quite straightforward for you. So I shall pop up on the screen now the parameters for a church organ. And I'm just gonna dial them straight in here. Uh, where are we? This is from my patch number 21. So the shape control needs to be around one third, about 33%, sort of that direction. Um, that's the blend that we need. And then the rest of it is going into the menu and just setting these parameters in here. <clears throat> so waveform number seven is the organ uh, waveform. So both waveforms are gonna be number seven. We're gonna have a little bit of detune, about 8%, uh, zero for interval, zero, sorry, uh, an octave ranges of both one. And that's it. Seven, seven, eight percent, zero percent, one and one. Um, and once I've done that, we'll have a kind of organy sound. Well, we've got a very good organy sound actually, because there's really no uh, sort of filter or envelopes to set with an organ. They're just on and off when you press the keys. But we might want to add a little bit of um, chorus, for example. Just a little bit of gentle chorus. I might go over the top, add a bit of reverb. Really, really simple. If we want to get a little bit of modulation going on, um, we might want to apply a little bit of pitch, LFO, just a gentle undulation of sort of, sort of detuning the pitch. Just obviously not that. Just very, very gently. If we wanted to create a bit more of a rock organ kind of thing, we could, in fact, instead of uh, the pitch, we could go with, say, the cutoff. Kind of thing all that kind of mucking about is easy to do once you've just got those basic waveforms in place and those basic oscillator parameters another thing you could do is just add a little bit of a, a percussive sort of attack at the beginning of the sound and we do that with the um the filter envelope here so i'll set a really sort of like sharp decay and let's add that in see what that sounds like
So that is uh, just a couple of ideas on patching an organ. So this next patching idea is going to be doing uh, an acoustic piano. Uh, so for this, we set the shape to be 50%, roughly, pointing straight up. And then in terms of the parameters, which are coming on the screen right now, uh, we need <laughs> we need we need number three waveform, number ten waveform, uh, a little bit of detune, a very small amount, four percent, and then zero, one, and one. So that's waveform three, ten, four percent detune, zero percent interval, octave one and one. So it's all about, with a piano, it's all about getting the envelopes right. Obviously we don't want full sustain, so we want to turn that off, and we want to set up a long decay. And in terms of release, we don't want nothing. We want a, sort of a sharp release. So now we need to start mucking about with the filter. Try and get it right before I start applying an envelope to the filter. So let's do the envelope now. It's really up to you at this point as to how bright or mellow you want the piano to sound, how hard an attack you want for it. Want a bit of a rock piano, we can add some detune to it. up a bit. Add mod effects to it, let's do that, see what that sounds like. Oops, I'm mucking about with the wrong thing. Uh, let's go back to plate, sorry I was on the reverb there. Let's go into a mod effect. Let's add some chorus. It's been months since I've played mini keys and I'm struggling, absolutely struggling. I'm terrible, so I apologize for that. Okay, so that's the kind of piano sounds you can get out of it. Um, again, just really easy. Once you've got those basic parameters in place, uh, the rest is really up to you. Right, so the next um, a patch I'm going to attempt for you is uh, an electric piano, an FM style piano. Obviously in the 80s we had the DX7 and we had those wonderful FM pianos that live on till today. Uh, a very overused sound, of course, but they were really, really popular, and they're still really popular. Um, now, what I found in terms of patching is that getting a, a nice FM-sounding piano is really a little tricky. This is probably the trickiest one. It takes a lot of fiddling around with uh, envelopes and filters to get it to sound right. But here are the basic uh, parameters pop up on the screen right now.
Um, we need shape to be 50%, roughly. Then we'll go into the parameters and we will choose, I can't see my own writing here. Okay, so we're gonna have waveform number four and then waveform number five. A little bit of detune, tiny amount, just 4%. And the rest of it just left as it is, zero, one, and one. So that's waveform four, waveform five, 4% 4 detune, zero interval, and the same octave for both. Sounds a bit like an organ. <laughs> but again, like the acoustic piano, it's all about setting the envelope. So we don't want to get, have any sustain. Bit of a release, long decay. setting a nice filter envelope. Let's add a little bit of reverb to that. And it sounds better with some modulation for sure. Let's go with a bit of chorus, but just gentle chorus. So that's a very, very simple um, FME kind of piano. There's another patch um, that I'm going to just do now, which is a, just a slight change. That's it. Okay, so we need to go with one third instead of halfway around. We go one third of the way around in terms of the shape. And in terms of the parameters, um, instead of the second waveform being five, we're going to use the 15, which we'll find out later is like a very much a bell kind of uh, sound, a very sort of high, brittle bell sound. Um, and then we're going to actually take off the detune, but actually pitch it up. So we go with an interval of 64. Up to there. And we're also going to set it to a higher octave. Let's see what the hell that sounds like. It's got more of that FM kind of quality to it. Then it's about getting the filter just right. Lots and lots of opportunities for fiddling around and getting it exactly how you want to once you've got those basic parameters in place. So that's kind of FME pianos. Okay, so while we're on the subject of FM sounds, let's go with a sort of like a bell chime kind of gong kind of sound. Uh, let's see what we can do with that. So uh, we're gonna set the shape to a third of the way around, 33% roughly, and um, we're going to go in and set the waveform, as I mentioned before, waveform number 15 is a bell kind of uh, waveform. So we're going to use it for both the waveforms. Uh, no detune, but we're going to set the interval to something a bit weird. We're going to go for 36%. And on one of the waveforms, we're going to pitch up 
um, to pitch up two octaves up. Um, and let's see what that sounds like. Right, so now we need it to be a bell. So no sustain and long decay and long release. Ooh, sounds like a little clock chime. But if we go down, way down uh, on the scale. Um, and these are the kind of sounds where you need lots of lovely reverb. Um, we will choose plate, let's try that, and turn it up to max. We'll try some modulation. These kind of sounds, I'll throw every single effect at it, to be honest, I'll turn on the delay as well. Um, we can apply uh, some filter to that. We might want to sort of like dampen it down a bit. to be a little bit more musical so we can use it a kind of sort of like a vibraphone kind of effect um, then what we can do is to take one of those waveforms instead of using 15 use 16 and you'll find out as you go through these waveforms that 16 is a sine wave so um, 16 and 15 and then what we'll do is we will add some detune to it um, but otherwise we will not have an interval um, and we will keep uh, it uh, two octaves apart. So you can hear there's a very, very low rumbling sine wave going on there. So we need to put it back to sort of like normal octave range. So the bell gives it the, that, that very high sort of tinkle and then the sine wave is, is the body of the sound. So that's it, that's just a few different examples of using these waveforms on your Minilog XD or your Prolog or the NTS-1. Lots and lots of lovely sounds you can get out of these DW8000 style waveforms. So until the next uh, video, thanks very, very much for watching.